Hey, I'm Scott with Ridgeline Roofing and Restoration. So you need a new roof and you're wondering what system to go with. I want to talk to you about a fortified system. It's something you commonly see on the coast due to building codes, due to the hurricanes that are down there, the high winds that are down there. Uh, we see it moving further and further up into Alabama. Insurance companies are even writing policies to cover fortified roofs. So if you're fortunate enough to your insurance company to cover your roof, if it's in your policy, they will upgrade you to a fortified roof. So why get a fortified roof? In the event there's a storm that blows off a couple of shingles, you're no longer gonna get that water intrusion coming into the house that gets on your sheetrock, that gets your insulation wet, that requires interior to be taken care of. The ice and water shield or the taped seams that you put on stop all water intrusion from coming in. So you no longer have to deal with the interior portion of the home. It'll just be the roof. The other benefit is the class four hail rated shingle. With it becoming more and more common in the area with small hail storms uh, in our springtime, you're gonna have the peace of mind that your hail is not affected by the small hail because you have installed the class four hail shingle. Also, once you get the system put on, your insurance company, or most insurance companies, will give you a discount on your homeowner's insurance due to the fact that you have a fortified, certified roof installed. So a few things that go into a fortified system. The first thing you need to look for is a certified, fortified contractor. Here at Ridgeline Roofing, we are certified for hail and wind certification for fortified and hurricane. You have to have your certified contractor documenting the entire process. So throughout the entire process, your contractor has to photograph the nails, the shingles, the decking, uh, six inches on center, your nail pattern that you use, your nail pattern for your drip edge, your nail pattern for your starter strips, your nail pattern for your roof, uh, even your nail pattern for your ridge vent. You also have to document your thickness of your decking. You have to document the uh, width of the rafters to make sure that a fortified system can even go on your home. Once our on-site project manager has documented everything from start to finish, he will then turn around and call a fortified inspector in our area. The fortified inspector will come out, take a look at the roof, take a look at the whole documentation process. He will certify everything there on the spot. Then once he puts everything in, he will get us the certifications. We will then forward that or email that on to the homeowner. So they will also have their documentation and certifications that they can pass on to their insurance company. So a few things that go into it. The roof comes off, the roof is tore off all the way down to the decking. The decking is then inspected as you would a normal roof. The first thing you do after you inspect the decking is then you re-nail all of the decking on six inches on center for your nails with a fortified approved ring shank nail. After all the decking re-nailed, you tape the decking. So there's two different ways to do it. You will tape all the butt joints on the decking to seal the decking all together, or you will use a self-adhered membrane such as ice and water to put over the entire roof. The next step, you put down your synthetic felt over the entire roof. Once all, your, once all your deck is taped and sealed, or you have ice and water on everything, you have to put down your drip edge all the way around the perimeters of the roof, and they have to be nailed six inches on center. Then your starter strip will go down, nailed six inches on center, to, to help with any kind of uplift that the wind could cause. Once all your starters on, you would then have a class four hail rated shingle go onto your roof. You're gonna get better protection with the hail rate. You're gonna get a better wind rating with that. Uh, it's just a heavier, thicker shingle. Once, once that's done, your house has to be ventilated properly. Uh, the ridge vent would go on. I hope that explains the fortified system. If you're interested in talking to someone about this system, please give us a call at Ridgeline Roofing and Restoration. We'd be happy to come out, talk to you, uh, and talk you through the process of getting a fortified roof.